Hey guys, it's Dave. Today I want to go over with you some of the best laptop deals I can find for Black Friday. And these are not just any laptops. These are going to be Windows 11 gaming laptops. These laptops are going to be playing your latest games and running your, your expensive engineering or video editing software with ease. So this is a one-stop solution. You buy it, you plug it in, you turn it on, you go through the whole setup process, and then that's a wrap. You are good to go, and you're ready to start running the latest games or demanding software in record time with little to no downtime. So let's crack in. These are the top three. This is all you need. So far, I'm going to declare this probably the best deals for Black Friday as Amazon's Black Friday has started. It's pretty wicked. Take a look at this, guys, and like this video and share with a friend who is in the market right now or is considering getting a high-performance and or gaming Windows laptop PC. Coming in at our third budget option here. These are going to be no particular order but I'm going to go from the least expensive to the most expensive, and I will tell you why. So this is going to be the MSI Creator M16. Sounds like a gun. A 60 hertz panel, quad HD content creation laptop. A smart marketing name for that, actually, because not only does it run games itself, it's actually going to run all those expensive video editing software, uh, photo editing software, engineering software, etc. because it has a very hefty, uh, the new 40 series card. Now it's a 4060, so it's not the craziest one of the bunch. But at this price of $1,100, getting a lot of technology cramped into this machine. Uh, Amazon.com boasts that you're going to save about $500 on this deal. And it's an official Black Friday deal. Um, it's going to also come with 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM that is the latest fastest version of commercial memory that you can purchase right now so you're going to be running a lot of tasks on this, this is going to be able to run all sorts of software running the game running the browser um, being able to communicate with your friends on slack on discord on well, I was about to say Skype but nobody uses Skype it's going to come with a one terabyte fast as heck solid state drive, the one that goes into the motherboard itself. It's not going to be connected through the SATA cable and it's going to have USB 3.2 type C HDMI. And let's look at some of the other peripherals on here to see what else we got going. We zoom in here on one side. We have the HDMI. It looks like you. SBC and standard USB and I, that might be a DVI port on there an audio port and Ethernet for direct connection and then on there we're going to also have the USB-C all of this studio power gaming power at the palm of your hands for $1100 you mean you're to me to tell me this is cheaper than the MacBook Air this is an insane deal right now strongly consider especially if you're into content creation you want to do some streaming you want to do some graphic design etc now number two and also the goldilocks laptop quite insane stuff that we're, we're looking at right here I, I can't believe this there's such a deal like this the msi katana 15 in cartoon land the m16 would be the gun and then the katana would be stronger than the gun because swords are stronger than the gun and this one is going to be stronger for your video capability this is going to have the difference between this one and the last one is we're looking at a better video card. The 4070 RTX card is going to be about 30, 25 to 30 percent faster altogether. Uh, it varies based on the software that you're using. Uh, this one's going to have half the memory as the last computer. It's going to have the 16 gigs, but it's still DDR5, which is the latest version. It's going to be faster than the DDR4. I assume at least 15 percent faster than the DDR4 collectively. But I recommend looking up some benchmarks in order to determine whether that's going to be enough oomph or if you need to add some more. I'm going to assume that this laptop, since it is a gaming laptop, it will be able to be extended if you want to turn this into an all-inclusive studio editing. It's going to have the same similar kind of blazing fast hard drive, USB Type-C, Cooler Boost 5, which is probably some proprietary cooling solution that MSI has. They dip the Kastana in ice, so to speak, to cool the machine, improving performance and the longevity of the software running. And let's take a look at the things on the side here. You see this guy? That can be you when you learn to wield this computer properly. 
Upon closer inspection, those four little things in the corner might actually be a vent to dissipate that hot air. And then you have the USB 3.0 and, and an older USB version and the power supply on this side. Just like how Jedi use the Force, gamers and Windows users use RGB keyboards and mouses to control the power of the laptop itself to harness the energy that's inside. And this can be you once you harness that power. You'll be slaying colorful dragons. And we're looking on the other side. We have the Ethernet cable here to directly connect to your internet solution. We have the USB, again, another one. USB, the new version of USB, audio, and a HDMI to connect directly into a large monitor or to have a multi-monitor display this onto something else if you're playing a game. Now, something to consider that this laptop is going to have less RAM than the other laptop I showed you, and it's going to be $100 more. However, the video card is a lot better and it is impossible to upgrade your video card on a laptop but it is possible to upgrade memory on a laptop so that's something to keep in consideration you might want to get this one and have the better video card and then add ram ddr5 ram later to improve your multitasking gaming and running intense software capability simultaneously coming in at our third option and i'm not going to say it's the best per se but it is the most expensive still a solid deal what appears to be $300 to the mix, but what are we getting? We're going to get the Intel 13th generation i9 with the RTX 47 and a one terabyte hard drive. Now the hard drive is similar. The memory is similar to the other one. This is also DDR5. I did check and this is going to be a different brand. Asus, the M16. A lot of M16s going around here. I guess this is the part where the gun does def defeat the katana, but barely. This laptop is going to be a solid compromise because it's going to push your gaming into the next level. It's specifically designed to be a spear that penetrates all of the gaming requirements. If you're going to be going to the Game Awards to see what PC games you want to run, you want to max out Baldur's Gate, you want to max out Starfield, you want to do that on the go. You play that in the coffee shop and blow everybody away that's next to you. It's going to be a bit more pricey, but it's going to have the processor in it that's insane. The insane processor and the very good video card. NVIDIA is, I'm choosing NVIDIA for all of these cards because NVIDIA is investing a lot into using software optimally to improve performance in an eco-sustainable way without having to co consume more power. That's why their stock is going insane if you haven't seen that. Overall though, if you're not too concerned about having the i9 and maxing out your, your tasks, maxing out your performance on your software, you may want to consider our Goldilocks option, which was the prior laptop uh, showed here, which it has the best of both worlds. But if you want to max it out, I can totally understand this Black Friday. You want to run away with the prize, so to speak. This will be the, the laptop that you might want to consider. That's it, guys. I'm not going to bother talking about any other laptops because these seem to be the laptops that hit as many categories as possible by staying within a nice budget range with a lot of power, with a lot of software multitasking support. It's going to be for both the power user for the high performance gamer and for the engineer or the graphic designer this is where you want to go this is going to have the studio drivers you need it's going to have the gaming drivers you need the ai technology you need push forward your programs and to really see you through to the next generation or the i guess the current generation of gaming software management multitasking profit making a lot of money on your idea because you have reliable hardware and software you like this video you thought this was helpful you're like well i saved a lot of money like, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Until next time.